I'm Taylor. And I'm Susie. We're here at FemGym and we're filming a 20 minute total body bar burn that you can do at home. Guys, we're going to give some options for props today. If you've got two sliders or if you've got two dish towels that you can use at home, go ahead and catch a hold of those. Uh, also, Susie's holding dumbbells, so I'm going to give some options if you want to get some more work for your arms to add some weights or some bottles to hold on to. And at the end, we're finishing with abs, so you might want to catch a hold of your yoga mat. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Let's jump in, guys. So you're going to take your feet, you're going to send them out a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. We're going to start nice and slow, a little bit of warming up, and then we'll head into that burn. So take your arms, circle them up overhead, have a look at the ceiling, and take that circle coming back down to the floor, a little bend of your knees. Reach your arms back up overhead, long spine, and then slowly hinge down and forward. Once more, guys, arms are coming up, long spine, bend your knees as you come forwards. I want you to take our arms, reach them out to the side. I'm going to start to push a little right side, a little left. So it's like you're pressing your palm away from you, and you're just shifting with your body weight to the right and to the left. Now your heels are really pressing into the floor. Both knees bent. I'm going to do a little shift, a little press. Just three more here, just two. On the one, so if your elbows to your side, we're going to go pushing out, pulling down, pushing out, pulling down. So as you're standing up to the top, you're going to take your palms, press them wide to the side. Keep on pushing into your heels, guys. We hit that plie position every time. We're going stretch and stretch. Just for four, three, push out for two, and one. Let's hold it low again, just stretch your arms to the side. We're going to go little circles now. With the arms, you start to heat up your shoulders a tiny bit more. Passing your palms away, circling forwards. Now change direction, start to circle to the back. You're going to check your shoulders right over your hips. A long spine, come a little lower. So you're bending both knees as much as you can while you circle your palms out there at the side. Let's go for four, and three, and two. All right, guys, we're going to go. Elbows in, stretch up, in, stretch up. Low, high, low, high. So straight away from the beginning of this workout, we're moving large with the arms and the legs. We're taking up a lot of space with your arms reaching up and you're bending your knees, sinking low at the bottom. Just go for three here, for two. On the one, come down low, press your palms together. See if you can take both heels, hop them high off the floor. Just test out your balance here, sinking with your hips a little lower. We're just gonna balance for three, for two. On the one, straight away, stand yourself up. If you've got a slider or a dish towel, go ahead and catch a hold of it. Susie's so gonna show the lunges from the side, so it's a little bit easier to follow along with her. We're gonna start with the right toes going to the back. We're gonna come into a lunge position. From that low point of your lunge, you're gonna go standing up, sinking down low, reach your arms up, and then pull back. So we're gonna bend both knees quite a lot. We're working towards that 90 degree angle. You're coming high and low. Check it out, guys. If you haven't got a slider, you can just step forward and you can step back, standing tall and sinking down low. Really reaching, moving through with your arms. If you've got the slider, you want to use it to get that extra tension, friction on the floor. So you're going to pull your leg to the front. We're going to press it back low in the lunge. Now we're going to make things a lot warmer. Next time, hold yourself down low. We're going to go squeeze and pulse. So you're going to bend both knees quite a lot. So your elbows tight into your side, and check that right knee is super low. So you're going down and down. Your right knee's almost at the floor, but you still have a nice posture of shoulders over your hips, and your abs are staying switched on. Just four guys. Three, two, stay low, arms in front. Your right knee pulling in and out. Just pull it front, back, front, back. So if you don't have a slider, you can follow along with me, just tapping with your toes. But if you have that slider, try to drive it into the front, push it to the back. Now your left knee is still staying still, so you can really feel that heat up, yes? We're going to squeeze, squeeze. Your elbows, drive into the back, guys. Just back, four, three, two, a little slower. Come into the lunge position, sack your shoulders right over your hips. We're going to go to a chair, to a lunge, come forwards. And back abs, we're gonna step that right foot forwards, step it back, maybe tap it on the slider. Keep on passing into your left heel, the left leg should now be super warm. Go forwards, 
go back. We're getting ready for a final burn on this side. In three, step it back. In two, to the back. On the last one, hold it back there. Concentrate. Just your right leg, a little press backs, little small ones. So you want to use your foot on the slider or on the dish towel and just barely move it to the back. If you don't have that slider or that dish towel, try to lift your toes and lower back down. Swing little bits, really tiny. Your foot barely leaves the floor. Just five guys. We're going to hold it in four, three, two. Just for you, so you can come with us a bit more down and throw your arms up towards the ceiling. Hold your balance, long spine. Just for four, for three, for two. Who is? Set it up. Take that on left leg. Quick stretch, yeah, for your thigh. And maybe a quick crossover into a finger for to release a little bit there for your bum. Opening up your knee wide to the side. A few big inhales and exhales. And before we hit the second side of the lunge, we're going to flush it out with the chair position. Now, if you've got your weights at home, guys, go ahead and catch a hold of the dumbbells. So Susie's going to show what you can do to make it a little bit tougher for your arms as we do this move. We're going to start to bend our knees, reach your arms in front, rest your hips to the back. Right from here, we're going to pull ourselves strong to the top. So you've got one pull, one lower, one pull, one lower. So use your shoulder blades, hunch forwards, send tall, sink down. Okay, so you guys already know, the second side of the lunges is coming up after this combo. We're going to take a few minutes here, use a little bit more the upper body, put that together with the legs. So next time, when you lower, keep your knees bent, just alternate your arms now. We're reaching up, down, up, down. Palms are towards the floor, and you're moving here to tone the front of your shoulders, those little presses. Keep going, four, and three. And two. On the one, we're going to press our hands back and back. So as you stand up, squeeze your bum tight. Take your palms and press them back behind you. We're going to add on a bit more balance challenge. Right toes point and the left ones. Go right, go left, go right. Keep changing, guys. So as you stand up, point your toes, stretch your leg out wide to the side. Palms are pressing back. And back. You go pointing your toes as you lift up. Just for four, three, two. Meet us down low. Now your arms are back behind you. Palms are towards the ceiling. Just go up, 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 up. Arms are moving, but your legs are still. Chest is forward. You should feel your triceps. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. And keep on tensing up the back of your arms, guys. Just for four. Three, two, bend your elbows. Go bend, stretch, bend, stretch. I'm going to bring in a little bit more balance challenge here. So if you feel strong, you can take your heels. Raise your heels up off the floor. As you are bending your elbows, then stretch long. You go bend, stretch, heels up and down. Chest is forward and your abs are on. Let's do four here. Three, two, on the one, guys, sink a little lower. We're going to take our arms, palms to the ceiling. Now press them back. Same thing as before. Let's move faster. You go biceps, triceps, biceps, triceps. Reach in front and press to the back. If you feel strong, you have a nice balance. Right knee up, left knee up. So you're going to stand up with one leg coming forwards. We go front, back, front. Back, so you should feel yeah, your heart rate staying lifted here. Just for four, and three, and two. Nearly there, guys. Hold the chair position. Reach your arms up in front. We're going to make some little circles now, toning on our biceps. So you're going to keep those weights out in front of you. Hips at the back, and a long spine. Come on, circle here. Just for four, just for three, just for two. Last change, pull your elbows to your side, you're going to turn your palms down and up, down and up. Squeezing your elbows back to your ribcage, and if you feel strong, lift your heels off the floor and do the whole thing, testing out your balance. Palms going down and up, down and up, just for four guys, for three. Last two here, and on the one. Woo, set yourself back up. If you got the dumbbells, go ahead and ditch them out of your way 
off to the side. We're going to hit the second side of the lunges. So make sure that you're now switching legs. You have the other slider together with you. We're going to go passing the slider to the back. So we all meet up down low, coming into that lunge for the shin. Same thing as we did on the first side. We're going to start by standing, so you back down low. So you're lifting up and pulling down. One lift, one lower. Coming tall and sinking low. So again, if you have the slider, you're going to use the friction and the tension of your foot pulling there on the floor. Maybe you're going faster, maybe you're going slower. So the tempo is not so important as keeping that movement non-stop. If you don't have that slider, remember you're stepping back and stepping front. To the lunge, and you lift. You go low and high. Try to bend both your knees a little more. Let's keep those lunges coming here. Starting to work onto the second side. Just for three more. For two more, guys. And here on the last one, it's time for pulses to come down low. Now both of your knees are really bent to lots. Let's start to pull the back knee towards the floor. So your elbows squeeze into your side. Keep your shoulders, your chest lifted. You want to get that heat, maybe a little shake on your front thigh. Go down and down. So your left knee pulling towards the floor. Have to run. Keep on staying low with us here. We are not done. Stay low. Five more. Four. Three. Two. On the one. Your arms coming forward. Pull your foot in and back. So your front leg is like a statue. And if you want to treat this a bit more tough, we'll go a little faster. Front and back. Yeah? So you just really raise that tempo up. Pulling the slider in and forwards. Working here at your own speed. Remember when you do not have that slider, you're just going to tap your toes. One tap with the toes close together. One tap with the left foot back. For six. Back. Four. Three. Two. Not done yet. Take that slider. Press it backwards. Take your shoulders over your hips. We're going to start to move just the left foot. Little pass back. And back. Little back. And back. So you're going to really power into your right heel. Try to only move your left foot. Push it back. And back. Nice. You can follow Susie with your arms forward. If you want a little bit more intensity, try to keep your arms working hard. Now let's bring them into your side for more balance while we keep those small presses coming. Just six. Going to hold in five, guys. Push four. Three. Two. On the one. Let's get sinking down a little lower. Bend both knees as much as you can. And balance five. Four. Arms up for three. Two. And on the one. You're going to stand up. Shake out that right thigh. You take a quick stretch there in the back. And take that quick stretch in the front. Open up your knee to the side. Right. Before we take it down to this next thigh exercise, we're just going to even out that last change over here on this side. By stepping to the lunge, stepping to the chair. You're going left foot back into the lunge, and you're stepping into the chair position. So we've got that last little bit of work here to even out what we did on the first side. You guys thought I forgot about this change, but I remembered it just in time. You're going back and front, going back and front. Just five guys. Come on for four here. Great, last three. Stepping back for two more. And now it's time for the finishing touches. Both your knees are bent. We're going to work both legs, pressing your palms. Great, guys. So really press your hands together. Sink your hips a bit more low. Let's test our balance first. Take your heels, raise them up, down, up, down. Now we're going to finish with a little side lunge combination, the standing leg section, and then we'll head down to the floor for a quick burst of abs, and we're done. Next time, keep your heels pressing into the floor. If you want to work with your sliders, Suze is going to demonstrate how to use them for this lunge combo. We're going to start with the right leg, tapping out and back in. So if you have the slider, you can push it to the side and back in. And maybe you move a little faster going for that open and close, open and close. If you'd like to work with your arms as well, you can push them to the back as your right toes are tapping out there to the side. Great, let's just do three more like this. Two. Now stay at this side. We're going to be low in a side lunge position, making little pulses, little taps. So I'm just raising up my right toes and I'm tapping them back on the floor. Meanwhile, Susie is working with the slider, pushing it further open to the side. Chest is forward, abs are on, pressing your palms in the center. 
and our target is really the left leg, the one you're standing on, on the floor. So this is four guys, three, two, to the back, push your right toes back and side, making a semi-circle on the floor. Same thing, you can move your arms, pressing back as you circle behind you. We want to get a really big burn coming into the standing leg. We go back and side, just for three more. Stay low guys, for two more. Final change, right toes stay back and just froze up and back. So I'm going to lift and lower my right toes just slightly off the floor. Meanwhile, so we press back with a slider, but we're both being a little shake, a little tension over here on that front left leg, just for four, three, two, whoo, and on the left guys, stand back up, the left leg should feel heavy, quick shake, we're going straight away to the second side, bend your knees, knee us back low, now we're going to take the left toes, press them out, and in, press them out, and in, meanwhile your right knee is going to have a bend, so maybe faster, maybe slower, just keep on reaching to the side, leaning your chest a bit forward, and now pressing into your right heel. You're going out, and in. A little open, and close. All right guys, next time when you open, let's stay there at the side. I'm going for my little toe taps, and Susie is pressing the slider. A little more side, and side. Biggest focus over here is keeping that bend on your standing leg. So you can get that burn to build up. Just that. Four, three, two. Let's start to take our toes back. One tap back, one tap side. To the back and to the side. Your standing leg still stays still. So it doesn't move, it's kind of like a statue. And I'm circling with my toes. To the back and to the side. Last standing burn is here. Let's keep our toes at the back. I'm gonna make my lift and lower toe taps. Meanwhile, since it's really pressing backwards, the slider is at the diagonal. Chest is forward, so close guys. Eight pulses, we're done here. Come on, back and back. Go low and low. Just four, three, two, whoo, on the one. Stand yourself back up. At this point, you should get a big burn for your legs. We're gonna change it now to the floor. Taking both of your sliders together with you. If you like that extra intensity, we're coming into a plank position. So set yourself up, pushing your feet back, taking your arms forward. 30 seconds, guys. We're going to go for mountain climbers over here. Bend your right knee and your left. Go bend and switch. You can either keep your tempo slow. We're going to take a turbo, go a little bit more fast. Pulling your knees really fast forward, shooting them again to the back. 10 more seconds to go. Now, so you can see Susan's so really moving with a lot of speed. Try to race her until the very end. You're good for five, four, three, two. Great, guys. Tap your knees down. Lift up your shoulders. A few shoulder rolls towards the back. Now, we've got one more move here with the plank. Both your knees moving with the slider, bringing them in and back out. Let's hit it, guys, for 30 seconds. Take both your knees, pull them forward. Press them towards the back. Susie is still moving with the sliders, but if you don't have sliders, you can also walk forward and walk back. So choose your option. Just don't stop moving with us for another 10 seconds in a strong plank position. We go for five, four, three, two, and on one. Really nice work with the plank, guys. Now we just have the last couple minutes of core exercises. We're going to turn around and have a seat on the mat. Right, guys, let's finish these last two minutes super strong, sitting on the floor. If you've got weights, Susie's going to show you what to do with them. Hold them in your arms. Start to lean backwards. Let's take our arms open and close and open and close. So here we are in a high C curve. You're heavy your spine to the back. If you're working with those weights, you're going to get that last little final burn for your shoulders as well. You open your arms out wide and you stretch them back in the front. Try to see if you can send your hands a little wider on that open. Keep coming here just for two more. And on the last one, we're gonna keep our arms backwards. Little squeezes now for your biceps. Lean back as much as you can. Taking your elbows, trying to tug them in a little bit tighter towards your side. You might feel a little shaky in the front here. Keep on leaning back for four, for three, for two, 
On one, take both your arms in front of your chest. Let's push to one side. Pull center, twist to the other side. Pull back in. So you're reaching your arms out long, alternating from side to side. We're pushing out and in. Out and in. Stay with us, three here. A last two here. Now on the one, one of my favorites. Take your arms to the side. We're going to draw figure eight. So we're going to go for a circle and then a circle. Alternating your circles at the side. Now the more you keep your elbows straight and especially you have the weights, you're going to work the shoulders more. Meanwhile, we really trim through the waistline while we keep on leaning to the back. Only one more change is coming, guys. In four, three, two. Hold it right here. Shoot your arms out overhead. We're going to pull up the right knee and the left. Strong crunches, guys, into the center. So draw your abs as tight as you can. Pull your arms down super strong. If you want more, it's the last eight reps. So maybe take both your knees, pop them up and down, pull with your arms, crunch your abs for four. Come on, guys, for three, for two. On one, hold it up. Your legs are up. Maybe you can get them a little bit straighter. Balance this for four. Balance with this for three, for two. And on the one, yes, let it go. Really nice work, guys, in this short 20 minute bar burn. We hope that you enjoyed. Thanks so much for joining. Thank you. So last week, Susie joined in on my first week of live Zoom classes. Susie, how was it? Amazing. Feel the burn after, for sure. Yeah, so guys, if you want to join in on some live Zoom classes so you can work out with others and also have a longer workout session, go ahead and check the link below. I've got all the details on my regular class schedule for you there.